Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of quantum computing, and I've got a special guest with me, Gabriel. He's a quantum tech expert who's been following all the latest breakthroughs in the field. If you've ever wondered how quantum computers are reshaping technology or what's going on with China's latest advancements, you're in for a treat. Gabriel, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, Leonard. I'm excited to break down the incredible developments happening in quantum computing right now. Hey, Gabriel, I've been hearing a lot about China's advancements in quantum computing. What's the latest news on that front? Exciting stuff, Leonard. China has recently unveiled the Tianyin 504, a 504 qubit quantum computer. It's a huge milestone in quantum computing and showcases how fast they're advancing in this field. 504 qubits. That sounds impressive. Who's behind this development? It's a collaborative effort between the China Telecom Quantum Group, CACTUJU, the Center for Excellence in Quantum Information and Quantum Physics under the Chinese Academy of Sciences, and Quantum Tech, a quantum tech company based in Anhui province. These organizations work together to push the boundaries of what's possible in quantum computing. So, what's special about the Tianyin 504? For one, it's not just about the hardware. The Tianyin 504 is integrated into the Tianyin Quantum Computing Cloud platform, which allows researchers and users from around the world to access its computing power. Since its launch in November 2023, the platform has had over 12 million visits from more than 50 countries. That's incredible. What are they hoping to achieve with this cloud platform? The idea is to accelerate research and practical applications of quantum computing. According to Wang Zhen, the Deputy General Manager of ACTU, they're working on advancing quantum computers powered by a new chip which will help researchers tackle complex problems more efficiently. A new chip, huh? Tell me more about that. The chip is called Xia Ohong, a 504 qubit superconducting chip. It sets a domestic record for qubit count in China. It's a crucial piece for testing quantum tech's kilo-qubit measurement and control system, which is a key element for scaling up quantum computers. Why are these measurement and control systems so important? They directly impact the performance of a quantum computer. Things like qubit lifetime, gate fidelity, and quantum circuit depth all depend on these systems. Liang Futia, an expert at the Center for Excellence in Quantum Information, explained that these systems are foundational for making large-scale quantum computing a reality. Sounds like they're focusing on infrastructure rather than just raw power. Exactly. They're not just chasing quantum supremacy, achieving a task no classical computer can do. Instead, they're building the foundation for practical, large-scale quantum applications. Is this only about superconducting chips, or is China working on other quantum technologies too? China's unique because they've achieved quantum computational advantage using two different technologies, photonics and superconducting quantum computing. For example, they developed Zhuzhang 2.0, which uses photonics and detects 113 photons, and Zhuchongzi 2.1, a 66 qubit superconducting quantum computer. Both are milestones in their own right. That's impressive. How does this compare to other global players like EBM? The Exia Ohong chip and China's quantum systems are now on par with major international platforms like EBM's in terms of qubit fidelity, circuit depth, and other performance metrics. It shows they're closing the gap fast. And all this without just trying to be the fastest? Exactly. Gong Ming, a researcher involved in the project, mentioned that the focus is on building robust systems, not just on raw computational power. It's about creating tools researchers can actually use. Fascinating. I heard China's supercomputers are also making waves. Yes, just last month, China's Tianhe supercomputer ranked first in an international test of AI computing efficiency for the second time since 2020. One. It's also been pivotal in areas like numerical simulations, materials computation, and environmental meteorology. It sounds like China is covering all bases in computing. 
What does this mean for the future of quantum technology? It means we're edging closer to practical quantum computing. China's holistic approach, developing hardware, infrastructure, and accessibility through cloud platforms, puts them in a strong position to lead. It's an exciting time for the field. Definitely. Thanks for breaking it down, Gabriel. I've got a lot to think about. Anytime, Leonard. The quantum world is moving fast. Glad to help you keep up.